everybody, it's Kevin Carr from Mike Ball Strength Conditioning, Certified Functional Strength Coach in Movement is Medicine. And today, I want to take some time to talk to you about this concept of the optimal loading zone. This is a concept that is really at the heart of everything that we do here at Mike Ball Strength Conditioning, Movement is Medicine, and really is the principle that helps us move people from a rehab-based setting to a performance setting out in the gym. It's important to realize when somebody gets injured and there's a tissue injury, the scar tissue that replaces the previous tissue is not going to be as resilient to stress, meaning it's not as elastic, it can't accept as much force, and it doesn't have the same aerobic capacity. So to get somebody back to where they used to be so they can go play high-level sports or just simply do activities of daily living without pain and stiffness, we need to progressively stress them to get them from here to here. And that's why we want to load them somewhere in the middle here. Now, it's important to understand when you first come into movement as medicine or many other traditional rehab settings, we're going to be doing a lot of low level activities to begin with. Maybe some manual therapy, maybe some motor control drills, maybe some mobility work, and that's great. It's going to help people get in positions to move better, feel better, and maybe reduce their pain and stiffness. But we need to always be tracking this direction towards performance training, right? Because we need to impart progressive stress to make that athlete or that client a little bit more resilient, right? So I always tell people when they first come to see me here, listen, we're going to start with some massage work. We're going to start with some mobility work, but every day we're going to be doing more and more things that look like performance training and look like exercise and be doing less and less things that look like therapy. And that's ideally the, the direction we always want to go. So that means getting in the weight room, doing things like squats, getting in the weight room, doing things like deadlifting and swings and split squats and single leg deadlifts and developing aerobic capacity right here in the sweet spot, right? Now, it's also important to realize that if we're on this side, we do too little, but if we're on this side, we can also do too much and start to break people down. Either side of the spectrum too far is going to lead to tissue breakdown over time, right? Too little stress, it's going to be catabolic that the athlete starts to break down from disuse. Too much, we're looking at re-injury. That's throwing the athlete right back into the fire without some progressive overload um, from the first day that they come back in. So we want to make sure, you know, we might be a little conservative, but we are getting them back in the weight room. It's also important to realize there's factors outside of the biomechanical factors that can lead to differences in the size of this optimal loading zone, right? Maybe you got a client with a history of chronic pain or repeat injuries. That might let, make them a little bit less resilient to stress, right? Maybe they have had multiple knee injuries, so there's more scar tissue around there, or there's more, um, you know, history of pain there, so they might be a little bit more sensitive to training around the knee. That's where we have to work as a therapist to understand maybe we have to be a little bit more conservative. Or maybe that client's just older. As we get older, we know there's adaptive changes to tissue that make us less resilient to stress. Now, over time, if we're doing a great job in rehab and we're progressively uh, straining them and we're educating the client, we should start to break down that barrier and move this line to the right, okay? So as they get better, we see adaptive changes, we see this athlete become more fit and move better, that optimal loading zone should grow. And that's when we start to think about performance training and that's why performance training and strength conditioning is the ultimate rehab tool. Because as they become more resilient, we build more of a buffer zone to stress, and that op optimal loading zone grows. I really just want to take the time to show you this visual so you can understand this concept and begin to apply it in your own setting. Whether you're a physical therapist or strength and conditioning coach or personal trainer, understand the ultimate rehab goal is to prevent a future injury, right? To build resiliency, to build strength, to build power, to build aerobic capacity so that athlete can endure the stresses of whatever their activities that they go through every day are, whether that's high level sports or just getting through your occupation day to day and making sure that client feels good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comments and I'll see you here next time. Thanks for watching.